Hey everybody, and welcome to Meals with Melissa, where I come up with healthier options of things you love to eat. Now, this one is super awesome and super easy, and I love it. I've, <laughs> I've been tasting my own food. Uh, I like to keep it simple because, of course, nobody likes complicated. I definitely don't like complicated, but you guys, this is phenomenal. And I'm very aware it is not zucchini season, but I couldn't help myself. It is a zucchini recipe. So we are, today we're gonna make baked Parmesan zucchini fries. It just gives you a good alternative. I know a lot of us actually like the ones made of potatoes, uh, but this is a much better option. Now I know you can hear my little bugger running around here. So. <laughs> We're just gonna let him do that today, uh, but super super easy. All right, first of all, you're going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees and have that ready to go. I'm also going to prepare my pan with a little bit of parmesan or parmesan <laughs> parchment paper. I got parmesan on the brain. Parchment paper because it makes for a very easy cleanup and it doesn't stick. Now the recipe does say that you can spray the parchment paper. You don't really need to do that. Uh, the parchment paper does that all on its own. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the covering um, of the uh, zucchini fries. Super super simple. We're gonna, so today I'm just gonna use the cheap shredded Parmesan. You can use a fresher option. You can grate your own if you really want to. Um, but honestly, I'm just using what I have in the house. Um, and this one, you know, I just hate to waste the really good, really good stuff um, when this actually works just as well. Oh, so you're gonna take about a fourth cup. I'm gonna make a half recipe today. What I'll include below is the full recipe. Um, but again, super simple. I'm just gonna take about a fourth of a cup. So I'm gonna use a spoon and eyeball it just a little bit because of course a fourth of a cup is four tablespoons. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I don't mind if I use a little extra because, you know, Parmesan tastes amazing. All right, so to that, okay, I'm going to add um, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, again, I'm making a half, uh, a half of the recipe um, just because I really don't need to make that much at a time. It's, you know, usually one or two of us eating at a time. So, all right, I'm also going to add... Um, some dried herbs. Now, I'm just going to use Italian seasoning. It works just fine. Um, you're going to do a fourth of a teaspoon, or sorry, half of a teaspoon of the dried herbs. And of course, you can add some different ones if you really want to, but like I said, Italian seasoning was the easiest, and I had it on hand, so that works out great. All right, to that, I'm also going to add a fourth teaspoon. Now, it calls for smoked paprika, but I'm actually going to use one of my favorite um, seasonings, which is the Kinder's Wood Fire Garlic seasoning. Now, because I'm using that and it does contain plenty of salt, I really don't need to add a whole lot of salt to this. As well, the Parmesan is a little bit salty. So I'm just going to add about a fourth teaspoon of that and a little bit of pepper. Like I said, I don't really need to add any salt. I guess you could if you were there, if you really needed to. Now, again, back to if you're if you're cooking super clean food, you actually do need to add a little bit of salt to your diet because you have to make sure that your electrolyte balance um, is working for you. So, all right, I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper to that. Okay, and I'm gonna mix it, just mix it with my spoon so that it's stirred up a little bit, you know, and all of the ingredients are dispersed throughout. All right, now, again, not exactly the best time of year to find a zucchini, but the local grocery store probably does have some teeny tiny ones. This is not what I grew up with, guys. I grew up with my mother having these great big zucchinis in the garden. So I always think it's funny that they're this big, uh, but that is that's what's happening. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this into fry shapes. Super simple. So I'm gonna cut it lengthwise, and I'm gonna cut that in half because really I don't need fries this long. All right, and so I'm just gonna make them fry size, okay? So cut them into about fry size pieces. All right, like I said, I've got my oven heating up for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this in a bowl. That one right here. Throw this in a bowl, and I'm gonna use about two tablespoons-ish of extra virgin olive oil, and I'm just gonna make sure that they're really covered, okay? So the olive, of course, olive oil, you wanna make sure you're not using regular vegetable oil. It's not processed well, um, and it's not really a healthy option for you. I hate the fact that vegetable oil and canola oil says heart healthy on there when they're really not. Okay, so with these, I'm going to now dip them in my little Parmesan mixture. Let me grab my pan. Okay, I'm gonna dip them in my Parmesan mixture and put them on my tray. So just make sure that it's covered. You guys are so good. <laughs> You're so stinking good. All right. Again, you know, I think part of the problem with eating healthy is that a lot of, many people don't know how to cook. We're not taught to cook. I remember in high school, granted I'm old, uh, that we had to take home ec, which I don't even think they have anymore. I do think it's cool that becoming a chef is kind of a popular thing, uh, but I really don't feel like the average person gets enough education on how to cook food. 
and on top of that, how to cook food well. So, you know, that becomes a problem. So when I look for these recipes, I look for something that's not just healthy, but actually tastes good, um, and of course is easy to make as well. All right, so once these are coated, I'm gonna throw these in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes, and then after that, and of course check on them, after that, I'm actually going to broil them for another about two minutes so that they turn out a little bit. I don't know about crispy. They're not going to be super duper crispy, but they're at least going to be to the point where they look and feel a little bit like fries. Now, here's how they turn out. You guys, again, it's so good. So, so good. I actually made a few more than this, and I've already eaten them because they're really, they're just, they really taste great. Now, if you want a way to get more vegetables into your diet, this is the way to go, guys. You know, you just want to try to find really great recipes to make them taste good. I think that's part of the problem. A lot of people tell me they don't like vegetables. I'm like, you just don't know how to cook them. <laughs> because once you figure that out, it's great. Plus, your kids will tend to eat them too. So, hey, you guys, I want to know, do you guys make these recipes? How do they turn out? Do they taste good? Did you like them? Which was a win? Sometimes I've had a few fails, but this one is definitely, definitely a win. So if you tried it, leave a comment down below. If you're watching this on YouTube or if you're not on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You want to see all of them that come up, and we're going to be adding extra um, episodes of this over the upcoming year. I'm thinking a breakfast episode. That would be kind of fun, right? So make sure that you leave a comment. You can also message, message me directly at Facebook Messenger, and if you have a really great recipe, it can't be complicated. Make sure you pass it on. We want to educate people. That's why all this information is free. So be sure to leave a comment, and we will see you next time, you guys. Happy New Year. Good luck on all of your New Year's resolutions. Bye now.